Yeah. Hi. I don't know how to get. Do they? It said she said it said to bring your computer. And yeah. Now, before you go any further, yeah, we want to. We are live with uh, our new knowledge session. Today is Becky Caldwell <laughs> with the Virginia Highlands Festival, and she's going to be talking to us about uh, a virtual executive director. Some of you have asked how to log on. Go to the Virginia Highlands Small Business Incubator Network, and the password I will write on the chalkboard. Okay, and without further ado, we've got a virtual executive director. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. I am also the actual executive director of the Virginia Highlands Festival, and uh, I am currently live streaming onto the virtual executive director Facebook page. So, hello, virtual executive director, friends and family. Um, let me uh, here. I'm going to turn the camera around real quick on purpose so you can kind of see. If everybody would like to wave. Hi, these are the <laughs> intrepid business owners who made it um, because we had a freak snowstorm today that um, like just ruined everything for about 45 minutes and then it, it was gone. But mountain life, that's fun. Okay, so I am popping onto the f festival's Facebook page and that way, as I talk, I can also, um, come on now, there we go. I can uh, maybe demonstrate for you what I mean. Um, quick show of hands. Uh, also, I, I'm at that age where I can either wear my glasses or not wear my glasses, <laughs> depending on what I'm looking at. So you're all a little bit blurry to me, but that's so I can read what I'm gonna be talking about. Um, but show, so I need big gestures. Show of hands, who here has a Facebook page? Awesome, all right, everybody, great, okay. Um, another show of hands, uh, who thinks their Facebook page is um, a waste of time? No one, awesome, great. Okay, preacher, choir, this is, Fantastic, I love it. Um, so why, uh, let's talk a little bit about why we wanna engage on Facebook with people. Um, and then I'll talk about what Facebook wants from you and how to give Facebook what it wants so that you get what you want, which is, I'm guessing, customers. Um, and then how to, oh, there was another thing I wrote down, how to share, okay, so that'll be when we really activate the, do something up there. Um, how to share a Facebook post, website, article, um, how to do that, because that came up yesterday in the Tourism Advisory Committee meeting that maybe some businesses wanted a refresher course on how to do that. When tourism says, hey, be sure to share this event out with your customers, um, I'll go through how to actually do that. And, and since I've got a handy tool here, I'll talk a little bit about tools too. Let me write that down or I'll forget. Tools. Okay, so why be on Facebook? Uh, how many of you engage in e-commerce, so you sell things online? Just show of hands. Okay. Um, can, can people just kind of speak up and tell me uh, what you use Facebook for? Anyone? Marketing. So you marketing? Upcoming events. Upcoming events, so letting people know about events. Okay. I'm going to write these things down. Marketing, events. Um, we have one e-commerce. 
Uh, when you do events, are you selling tickets online or are you gathering information? Just mostly gathering information, letting everybody know about what we're going to be doing. Okay. Also, sharing pictures afterwards. Okay. The ribbon cuttings. And uh huh. Okay. Uh, anybody else using it for something specific or is it just general customer acquisition? Are you driving them to your place of business? Yes. Remember, you're all like a little bit blurry, so I need big. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, if you are, uh, if you're do, if you're using it for e-commerce, Facebook engagement is a no-brainer. Um, if you are, uh, are your businesses generally local focused? So you're looking for local customers. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, then Facebook is a, a way to easily target your local customer base because you can when you're running ad, I'm not going to get into Facebook ads today because that's like a whole day of of training just on I mean like hours and hours but but if you already know how to do Facebook ads or if you boost posts already then um, Facebook is a great way to hyper target local um, my husband has an auto detailing business and so when we run ads for his business we, he only wants people in a 25 mile radius of Abingdon. And so that's really, really easy to do. Um, that's something that is not easy to do when you're using print marketing or radio or television or any of the other sort of um, old school forms of media. Uh, and the other reason uh, why you want to, to focus on Facebook is before you sell me something, or before you get me to an event, you have to get my attention. And that's where people's attention is. I mean, across every age bracket, right? We have found with the Highlands Festival that most of our Facebook users are over the age of 55. And we, we found with e-commerce that the people who clicked through to buy something, to buy tickets, were over the age of 55. Actually, most of them were over the age of 60. I mean, it was, yeah, I know, right? Like, <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> so, so, I mean, when people say, oh, only, only young people use social media, that, is, I, that could not be farther from the truth. And the same is, is for our area, too. A lot of people are like, well, a lot of people don't have the internet or a lot of people don't have Facebook. Well, you know what? A lot more people do have these things. So it's really advantageous for you to engage with those audiences. Um, another great thing about about uh, engaging on your Facebook page is you can, like this insights thing right here, if you click on that, you can learn so much about your audience. So this goes beyond um, the likes and everything. Like la I'm feeling a little bit sad about all these red numbers, <laughs> but last week we had a big push with Giving Tuesday and our numbers just shot way up. This week we're a little bit more kind of um, chill about our audience engagement and that's why these numbers are all going down. Um, but you can, you can learn about your followers and when they follow you, what time of day they're interacting. Um, let's see. So, like you can see like where the peaks and, and valleys are in your, you know. There, you can play around in here a lot. And again, like that could be a whole nother like training. Uh, so, um, oh right, so getting back to the, the, all the red numbers <laughs> that are on my, on the festival's Facebook page right now. Um, we saw um, a 10,000% increase in engagement when I did live streams on Giving Tuesday. A 10,000%. Now, I know it's easy to get to that. Like if you have one person normally watching and then 100 people watch, that's like a 10,000% increase. But um, I think that, you know, maybe not 10,000% for you if you regularly engage your audiences, but it's, um, th it's very real. The, those people are out there and they are wanting to spend money with you. Um, so these are reasons why to be on there, why you might want to engage your audience. Um, 
here's what I've learned that Facebook wants from us, and I think this is why Kathy brought me in today because I'm part of some marketing groups online and we have direct connections to Facebook and their team, and so they, they've told us what they want. And what they want from us users is audience engagement. Engagement. So what is engagement? Engagement is conversation. It is not just likes on your posts. For example, let me scroll down. Um, so it, it looks like reactions instead of just the thumbs up. So the more people um, heart or laugh or uh, do you know, have some other reaction, sadness, <laughs> I don't know, wow. Um, that, so like for example, uh, here, the, um, the hearts mean more to Facebook than the thumbs up. Um, and, and on that and not the comments, like you can Well, and then the next layer, okay. yeah, the next layer is the comments. So you want people to comment. Now here's the thing about commenting. Facebook knows who, um, who the admins are and who's related to them. So if, if you, like I can, um, I can comment as the Highlands Festival or my other business, or I can back this out and comment as myself. Um, if you start posting comments as yourself, Facebook knows, so you can't cheat that way. Uh, but what you can do is um, ask people not in your post because Facebook knows that they know every Facebook and Google they know everything um, remember when we were afraid that the government was listening to us and then we <laughs> and then we put a listening device into all of our homes <laughs> turned on the GPS you know put our put children into cars with strangers for uber you know uh, anyway um, so so you can on your personal profile post something that's like hey I just posted a thing on my business page could you please comment on it and give it a reaction if you if you love it if it makes you angry I don't care just give it a reaction um, and then you know you can kind of hack it that way until you get uh, because then the more audience engagement you have the higher Facebook will prioritize your posts in someone's news feed and already you know you're only getting three percent of your audience did you know that how many people knew that already oh i'm sorry did i just burst a bubble mm -hmm. okay <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh anytime for example the festival's facebook page has how many people do we have six thousand seven hundred ninety two people so um i don't have a calculator on me and i'm an artistic person so i don't math um but only 3% are going to see what I post. 190, thank you. 190 people. Is that enough to sustain a festival? No. Um, that's why Facebook likes you to pay to, to boost things, to run ads. This is why we need to do these things to increase our page likes, therefore increasing the whole number of that 3%. Um, so if, if only 3% are seeing your, your posts anyway, um, the more you can get your audience to engage with what you're posting, the, 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 more, the higher the, the percentage will be of people seeing what you post. And I mean, it's easy to be like, you know, screw you Facebook for doing that and get all mad about it. But really, it was out of self-preservation because if you look at, say, Twitter, Twitter is like drinking out of a fire hose, I think. How many of you have a Twitter account that you, like, pay attention oh. to? Yeah. Okay, if you have one. <laughs> All right. Well, it's like, it's like a, I mean, it's a full frontal assault of information all the time. And Facebook saw that there was a potential for that happening, and so they, they throttled back so that you're not completely overwhelmed with irrelevant content. That's the algorithm. It's, it's designed to feed you content that you are actually interested in, which has its pros and cons, but you know, whatever, this is the world we live in. Uh, 
you want to, this is why you want to engage your audience and get them talking on your page as much as possible. And, um, and that will then increase your overall numbers, increase your placement within the algorithm, more people will see your stuff, and then come to your event or buy your thing or um, show up at your store. Uh, are there any questions while I take a drink of water? Uh, we're getting some feedback. Can you take the thing out of your pocket and maybe lay it on the desk or something? The light. I'm getting feedback. No, you can just leave it on. But the leave it on your lapel. Take it out of there. Right, yeah. you go. Just lay it on the Thank desk. You. <laughs> Away, so I'm gonna. Can, can I hold it? Hold can it? I hold it? Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> Woo! All right. I wrote you a note, and then Nina reminded me that you can't see. I can't see that. <laughs> I, I I see there's like squiggly lines on a thing. I know it's. Uh, look, I just haven't. I love my tiny little classes. I'm not ready to get, graduate to the transitional. I just you know I don't know if it's vanity or what, but. There we are, a little peek into my psyche. <laughs> okay, so we don't have any questions at the moment. Uh, um, so we know why to be on Facebook. We know what Facebook wants from you. So next is how do we give Facebook what it wants? <coughs> One of the best ways to do this is what I'm doing right now, and that is live streaming. Now, how many of you uh, love live streaming? Awesome, you're my person. Nita? Okay, how many of you uh, are terrified of live streaming? Okay. <laughs> and then I guess everyone else just is, doesn't know yet, right? Okay. Uh, live streaming is, can be very engaging for your audience. It gives them the chance to comment. If you are live streaming from your phone the way I am, you can add someone in to your live stream. Um, the interface is different on a laptop versus your phone. So if you're, if you're intending to add someone and have a, a live conversation with them through technology, you'll need to do it from your phone. Um, but uh, that's, it, it's engaging because people like, let me try this again, people support what they help build. And the more they can see what, what you're doing behind the scenes, the more they feel like they're a part of your success and your progress and they're helping you build your business. So that's why uh, it's okay if you're live streaming and it's not perfect. It's, in fact, it's more engaging that way. It, you're a real person and, um, and people get, you know, will be able to get to know the real you, not the polished PR version of you. Uh, I'm going to give you several suggestions now of what to do in a live stream because I think that's what paralyzes most of us is like, well, I can hit that live and then what do I do? Like back in the, uh, in the early days of, of Instagram and Twitter and I mean, any visual social media, we all were like, well, what do we do? I don't know, I guess I'll post a picture of what I'm eating. <laughs> or um, anyone remember Periscope? Show up anyone Periscope? Okay. so. Yeah, the, the beginnings of Periscope, it was like, I'll show you my fridge. <laughs> um, but let me give you some ideas so you don't have to do that. Uh, live streaming, um, so you can um, host interviews on your Facebook page, which I'm gonna be doing today at 1.30 with um, country music star John Barry. So I'm really excited about that. He's performing today at, um, at Emory & Henry and doing his Christmas show up there. And he's been a friend of the festival, been coming, he came and performed a couple times. And so um, he's letting me do an interview with him. Um, so host interviews, you can go live from your place of business to give followers a sense of what you're like. So that's fun, like just grab it and walk around your, your office or your, how many of you, what do you, I don't know, I need to find out what you do. Um, uh, Tourism-based industries, anyone? Uh, outdoor rec, anyone? Uh, manufacturing? Yeah, okay. Um, what else do people do? If you could just give a sh I don't know, go around the room. What do you do? Food. Oh, food, awesome. Do you have a restaurant? 
Two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> What's your restaurant? JJ's and Papa Tom's. Oh, good. I know you. Okay. Yeah. That's because <laughs> I don't have my glasses <laughs> on. <laughs> and I can see you clearly. You're Vanessa? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I. <laughs> Great. Chrissy. Now I'm just like a complete moron. <laughs> Be sure to tell Joel that I was just like up here boffing the whole presentation. Um, okay. Uh, so great. Yeah, J JJ's would be and uh, Papa Tom's and whatever else you like the stuff out of the vineyard. Um, those are great opportunities for live. If you can take your phone back in the kitchen and just like be like, hey guys, yo, what are, you, what are we cooking tonight? Because um, people people will buy what they see online. And I mean, we know like commercials work. It's just they're delivered differently now. What do you do? I'm a life coach. Life coach, awesome. So live streaming is going to be really helpful for you because you can get bits of um, of information out. Yeah. Um, and then let's see, manufacturing and what about in the back? What do you guys do? Uh, computer repair. Computer repair, awesome. <laughs> do you ever? Well, you could set up a. A thing like this or uh, you know you guys you see the tripods everywhere um, do you ever do a live like here's how I fix a thing or I haven't here? yet but it's one of the things I'm working on okay cool and then next to him in the gray I'm with the Chamber of Commerce hi, hi. I know you That's okay. again <laughs> can't see okay, if you're sitting right here yeah okay and then how about you home improvement. home improvement oh my gosh you could do so many cool live live streams um, great so go live from your place of business also um, 360 uh, so like a, a 360 degree kind of look can can help people feel like they're actually there with you um, this is I think especially true for a restaurant or uh, any business that's that's an experience that people go to um, activate your staff is uh, the next topic I want to cover in terms of live streaming. So you can give followers a look behind the scenes to see what staff is up to, what's in development, um, what are your hopes and dreams, uh, what thoughts are you formulating or marinating on at the moment. This is something that um, I, I think a lot of businesses get kind of hung up on is presenting that perfect, polished, finished thought, but really we're all works in progress. There is no finish line to this. I mean, there is the ultimate finish line, I guess. But while we're here on this planet, <laughs> let's not go too dark, Becky. <laughs> like that snow just threw me off today. Um, but you know, there's no finish line to it. So you don't have to present a finished thought. There have been many times I've popped in live and just been like, you know, a thought popped into my head and I'm, I'm sort of marinating on it. I haven't fully developed it. I'd love your input. Here's what it is. So um, these are things that, that you can do on a, on a live stream that can engage your audience. Okay. Uh, also, activating your staff. Follow a handful of key people and document their experiences at your business. Um, so that could be, again, like a restaurant, that could be a lot of fun. I mean, it's like your own reality. Yeah, it's your own reality TV show, basically, is what you're doing here. So if your business were a reality TV show, here's, here's how you would activate it. Um, create, uh, create content behind the scenes. So you can take this live, the cool thing about live streaming is when you save it, it can save to your device it uh, will save on Facebook and then you can download it and you can pull snippets. So these can be multi-use beyond just the streaming time. So pull snippets, you can uh, screenshot something that looks really cool and then meme it. Um, you can pull quotes out if you say something really smart or savvy or, or deep or maybe just something really stupid and you wanna do a blooper reel. Um, so you can, you can pull these things out and um, and use them later as pieces of content. Now, are you talking about on Facebook Live? Yeah. Well, so you use the live stream to generate these ideas and thoughts and images, and then you save it. You can have it saved to your phone or save. It will save to Facebook when you choose to do that, and um, and then you you can just pull that out later. So you go in and you can screenshot. You can edit. You can. 
uh, watch yourself say that really smart thing over again and then just write it down as a quote and quote yourself, you know? <laughs> like, don't, don't worry about quoting yourself. I mean, that'll be, you know, that's really handy. Um, because especially if you're a solopreneur and there's no one else smart around <laughs> to say something, <laughs> just quote yourself. Um, let's see, what else do I have on here? Um, oh, here's something that, that really excited me. We, we are going to be doing more of this with the Highlands Festival, but allow vendors to, um, to take over your Facebook page or your Instagram account to show, um, to show their perspective, your vendors or, or partners, uh, because that will, uh, what they do is um, when you have a, a, a Facebook or Instagram takeover, you give them your login, not your login, but add them as an admin. On, in, on Instagram, I think you have to, I don't remember how it works. We'll focus on Facebook, Becky. Um, but uh, you make them an admin for the day or a couple days, and they take over your account, and they publicize to their people, their followers, that they're taking over your account for a day, and, and then you combine audiences, and, um, and that's how you can expand your reach pretty easily. Um, so they take over, and your followers get to see someone different for a while, and to see what your business is like through their eyes. And that can be that can be really effective. And then, like I said, you've got that content for later too. Um, speaking of preparing for later, um, be sure that you have uh, the setting to, and this will be on your phone, to save it to your phone. Or when you when you stop the live and um, let me see how I could do. Let me do let me do a quick live from my computer so you can see what happens. You'll see like my abdomen. That's <laughs> not a good look for me, but you know it is what it is. I'll step back. Hi. Okay. This is trippy. Hi, festival Facebook fans. I am here at the Small Business Incubator doing a live presentation. Look at this is so weird. Um, presentation on Facebook best practices for small biz and nonprofits, and I'm doing a demo right now. Um, you know, you'll be joining me later for John Barry, but uh, right now I'm just doing a quick demo so that they can see what's happening and what happens when you shut down your live stream, so that you can save it for later. Um, quick plug, if you do have questions for John, we're going to go live with him at 1.30. Leave your questions right here. I will monitor this, uh, the comments section, to, um, to see if anybody has any questions for him before I go live with him. All right, thanks. See you later. So you end it, and then, uh, let's see. <clears throat> yes, I do want to end this. <clears throat> And then you have this choice, if you're on your computer, to say done or delete video. If you're really happy with how your live stream went and you said some smart things, uh, or you got some good comments or some good <laughs> visuals, look, so you might go live and just be a complete moron for five minutes and then you can just delete it and no one has to know. Um, but in this case, I'm gonna save it because I did ask for people to comment and then it just saves and you've got it. Uh, and it'll, it'll show up in your, whoops, in your videos, like that. And so it shows how you then save a snip. Okay. Um, what I do is pretty low tech, actually. Uh, I will <coughs> enter full screen. Actually, I will probably watch it on my phone and then do the screenshot on my phone. Um, if you want to do something like this, if you're like, whoa, Becky, that's quite the angle. Everyone, <laughs> everyone should see you from that angle. Um, you can always use a snipping tool. I don't think there's anything native in Facebook to screen sh screenshot like that. So when I need a screenshot, I use a snipping tool like this. And I make a new snip and I'll go like, woo, there we are except that then you get this little thing right here, which is why it's better if you can do it from your phone. Um, but that's how I could 
do it from there. Or maybe there's something happening, you know, off off the little play button that I want to uh, be able to crop and zoom in on. So no, I do not want to save that snip. No one needs to see that. Um, let me go back to home. Uh, do you know how to screenshot on your phone? Okay, great. So once you've done the live, you're probably going to do it from your phone anyway, because who needs to carry around a laptop? Um, and plus on the phone, you can add people in. There are just more features available to you. And that's because Facebook wants your live instant experience. They don't want you behind planned out and behind a desk. Um, so then just, you know, when you're rewatching it, screenshot it and you can meme it up later. Um, does any, do you guys know about Canva? No, okay, I'm gonna go to Canva. <coughs> Canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. And you can, um, you can then take your, and there's a mobile app for it also. Um, but this is how you, this is how people can create memes or, um, well, there are lots of ways actually, but this is one of them. So I could create a design um, and let's say I want to do a Facebook post. And then I have uploaded a whole bunch of things. So this is one of my favorites. So this was a picture taken at last year's festival, last year, this year, last summer. And um, so you just plop your picture in there text, move it up here, and I'm just going to type, hooray, oops, that didn't work, oh, Becky, um, you can change the color, you can change the font, There's a ton of fonts available, so maybe I want something like that. And then you can make it basically almost as big as you want. <laughs> too big, <laughs> too big, Becky, too much. Okay. And then it's just basically like drag and drop kind of wherever you want it. Um, you can also overlay <coughs> things like, I'm trying to find our, oh. Oops, I thought our logo's over here. I have a, the pro version um, so that I can have folders and then I put the Highlands Festival logo on here. And there I've got branded content that I can share wherever I want. Um, the same is true if you do a live stream, screenshot, and then you can throw it up into Canva, put words over it. Uh, another hack for that is if you have Instagram and you share it to your Instagram story. Does anyone do Instagram stories? Yes. Anyone else? Okay, cool. Um, a hack with Instagram stories is that you, um, you post to your story and have it saved to your device and then you can layer in some text over that through Insta using the Instagram interface. Um, I do not have a way to really show you that right now, um, but if someone would like to get their phones out and play, I can, I can show you after this how to, how to make that happen. And that's how you can um, create some memes just from your phone pretty easily. Okay. Um, another use for the live streams. All right. Another use for the live streams is, is to get everyone excited for what's to come. Uh, this is especially true with if you're using Facebook for events, like we do. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You can create a thank you video for your customers, um, for your attendees. Uh, I know um, Nita. I know you you do these things with um, the ribbon cuttings, and um, so you can you can uh, and you know it doesn't have to be at Thanksgiving or at the end of the year. Uh, it could be on your, your business's anniversary. 
It could be on any random <laughs> Tuesday or Thursday. Thank you, Thursday. Uh, so you can create a video that thanks your customers and, and have that video um, come not necessarily from you, the owner, but maybe if you have a staffer, the staff person can thank your customers. Or if you have a, um, I don't know, there, there are lots of ways to express gratitude. There are lots of layers of gratitude. There are lots of people who can be thankful for other people within your business. Um, just, you know, figure out what's gonna work for you. Um, like I was just, I just had a thought about a JJ's Papa Tom's um, like faux rivalry. Like <laughs> we'd like to thank you for being closed on Monday so we can get all the business or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'd like to thank all the restaurants that are closed town, on yeah. Sunday. <laughs> um, you can take a video of the leadership team uh, talking about the, <laughs> was that snarky? Um, no, it's so true. <laughs> I was thinking of something that you said to somebody one day in a meeting. <laughs> if you want some good sarcastic remarks, just talk to Becky for a while. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? I'm, uh, I'm, I am holding back. I think I'm holding it in pretty well. Um, so uh, what was I saying? Oh, take a, lead, a video um, of the leadership team or owners talking about the five most surprising things that happened in the last month or quarter or year, whatever. That's, um, that's always good content. Like here are the five things that surprised me about starting my business or about five things that surprised me about, um, I don't know, whatever your situation is. I can come up with a whole bunch for you if you need that. Um, oh, <laughs> what did I, this was something funny that um, I haven't done yet, but I, would, I very much want to do this. Uh, take a video if you have a place of business where the public generally comes and might leave things is uh, interesting things you found in the lost and found. <laughs> That's sort of random. But, um, let's see, create a video of bloopers. Uh, that, that's why like if you have any editing skills and you do the live streams, um, there are a lot of free video. In fact, YouTube, you can edit things directly on YouTube. Um, you, uh, it, it's, it's fun to see people be real. Um, and not just in like that mean sort of schadenfreude kind of way, like <laughs> where we laugh when people like get hit in the face with a rake. Um, but it, it's just, it's fun when things like don't go the way they were planned. And people like to see that and see how you react to it because uh, you know, they say um, when, you, when you squeeze an orange, you're not gonna get apple juice out of it. And so people wanna see how you react under stress and pressure. And that's something that, um, that a live stream definitely <laughs> will reveal. Um, let's see, you can also have a volunteer or staff member share their story and answer questions about <coughs> their experience on a live stream. And so the way you would do this, you can either do it through the technology by adding them in and then it's like a picture in a picture situation, or you can sit down next to each other, you know, get, get really close and, uh, and have a conversation with them or they can just do it um, if, the, if it's someone who you can trust to not <laughs> be like me, basically. <laughs> so it will toe the line. Yeah, but people wanna see um, people want to see the real people behind your business. I think that's sort of the, the crux of the whole Facebook thing. That your, uh, your, um, what Facebook wants is really what your audience wants. And that's to see the real you and to engage with the real you as, you know, in your, in your business. And that's really what's going to drive your engagement up. That's going to drive um, your audiences up. It's going to um, help you sell things, get people to your events. Um, and uh, and bring people into your your places of business, and that's my talk. So I want to I wanted to that's that's what I prepared. I want you to get really selfish right now and ask me questions. Yeah, I was trying to create a page <clears throat> as a life coach, mm -hmm. and it asks me what like my business is, and life coach is not an option. It's uh, consulting. It's an option? I don't know. Okay. I'll try Something that. like that. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have 
recommend the boost page option? Like, what are your yes. thoughts on that? Yes. They so boost post. yes, boosting a post tends to work when you have a quick update. It's not so great for transactional things. It's more like a PR mechanism. So if you need people to be aware of something, like boost posts are great for, um, if you're a blogger, to say, hey, here's my new blog post or my new podcast episode or something is up. If you have a menu change, hey, we've, we've got the seasonal change in our menu. That's a great boosted post. The fundraiser events. Okay. Events, it's better to do an ad, um, and that's because you can, um, I mean, you can boost it too. Uh, it's just with an ad, you get more feedback on, on like what's working with your targeting than you can with a boosted post. <coughs> so if that, if that feedback is important, um, then go with an ad. But, you know, honestly, like everything works. Mm -hmm. You know, billboards still work. Um, it's just they're freaking expensive, you know. Um, a boosted post versus an ad, like if you know how to, okay, this is one of my favorite things. So I, does anyone in here follow Gary Vaynerchuk? Anyone? Awesome. This is going to be totally new to you then. <laughs> so the ROI of Facebook, right? People question, what is, what is the return on my investment with Facebook? Um, it's all in how much skill you have in using it. Um, for me, the ROI of a basketball is zero. But for LeBron James, it's millions of dollars. If you know how to use Facebook ads, if you know how to place them and target them correctly, and the, you have great creative, then you're gonna get a great return on your investment with a Facebook ad. If you don't know how to do that, but you still wanna get the word out, boost a post, because it's super easy and simple. That's fun. I'm so glad I got to use that analogy. <laughs> so, you, so you didn't follow through and tell us who that guy was you were talking about. You said it was going to be fun. That I said it was going to be what? Fun. Gary. Something. Gary Vaynerchuk. Yeah. Oh, Gary Vayner. Oh, okay. So, well, this is exciting. Um, Gary, you're welcome. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk here. All. <laughs> Vaynerchuk is um, he is he is Gary V and that's V E E on basically all social media. Um, he is a he built a his family's wine store uh, and um, he, well he built he built it up from like I think a three million to a sixty million dollar business and then uh, he left that to start his own digital agency or not digital but. That's what he's known for is digital marketing. Um, he is a great person to follow on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. Uh, he has a ton of free content. Every keynote address he gives in, ends up on YouTube like within a month usually. Um, so if you are into any digital marketing at all, he is a great person to follow. That's Gary V-E-E, -E. Um, so at Gary V. Or on Facebook, he's just Gary, I think. Let me see. But what does he do? Is he just a, does he tell jokes or what's he do? No, he is an, he's an entrepreneur and he teaches people how to, um, how to build a personal brand, how to market themselves, or how, how to market their business online. Okay. Yeah, so primarily marketing, advertising, <coughs> Um, I don't know if you'll be able to hear that. Are there any speakers attached anywhere? I don't think so. No, okay. Well, you can see his stuff. He has the Ask Gary V show, which I don't, um, I guess he's still doing episodes of that, but he takes people's questions, general public questions about marketing and business building. Um, he says uh, he day trades attention, so he knows where where attention is, and then grabs it for brands. And I've I've seen I could I could basically give a Gary V keynote because I've watched so much of this stuff. Um, uh, 
Selfish, get selfish, come on. I'm sure you have questions. We've got time. It's only 12.43. I'm gonna get another drink of water. <laughs> Well, I have a question. Yeah. So, for I got it started a page just today to come in, but I don't want it to be published yet. I don't know how. Too I'm, bad. Does that mean it's already? <coughs> yeah. There. Will my friends be directed to it? No. No one will know it's there. Okay. Uh, until you Tell start them. doing things. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> That's a lie. I just lied to you. <laughs> um, it, dep it depends on how you're. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Um, it depends on what your settings are, what your privacy settings are, okay. because sometimes people can see your activity. So if you started a page, people might see that. But if that's not part of your, like if you don't have that checked in the privacy settings, then people won't know that your page is there. So. And even so, they would only see that you started it. Just the name of it. Just, yeah, that you started it. It's so all going to settings. Though. Yeah. Yeah, but I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, like I said, only 3% of your followers are gonna see it anyway, and probably half a percent are actually gonna pay attention to it at this point. So I wouldn't stress out about that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. If I'm a fairly low tech new business uh, startup, where do, where do I begin? Where do you begin? Do you have a Facebook page? Not for the new business. No. Okay then I would start by creating it. Um, and you do that, let's see, I go to home, and then um, you should have like a, a pages manager. And then go to create. And then you can just create your, create it from there. So can you see that? So you get started, and then you name it. My awesome business category. Um, just say entertainment, and then you just fill in all the stuff, and you get started. Um, there's a lot that you could dive into. So if just get it up and running and start to build your audience with it. What would be your goal with having a page? Lead generation, I guess. Lots of okay. Remind me what you do. Home improvement. Home improvement. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would, the, having a, a, a Facebook page is going to be a really great way for you to give people a behind the scenes look at what you're doing for home improvement. Um, <clears throat> I also get a lot of pushback from people who don't want to give away all of their information. The truth is, even when you give away 100% of your information or your tips and tricks, people still won't put it into practice because <laughs> we're lazy. We want someone else to do it or we don't have time, you know? So you could, you could life coach the crap out of somebody like by just giving everything, you know, you could life coach everybody in the world on your Facebook page right now and they still would, put, they would still call, call you and pay you to life, life coach them personally, you know? So with home improvement, you could show them every trick in the book, but like they don't have the tools that you have they don't have the actual skill, you know? So they're still gonna, it's not, it's not like they're gonna DIY. They'll still need you. Or they'll look at it and say, I can't do that. There's no way I can do that. I'm calling or this call guy. call you once they screw up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So then he wants, let, let's say he starts a, a new page. How does he, after he's created the page, Kim and this gentleman, how do they find friends to invite to like that page? Oh, great. I love it. Uh, the way that you do that is Facebook will, um, it has a little thing down on the side here where you can invite your friends to like the page. But um, you don't already have friends, how do you do it? 
<laughs> you, don't, you don't have friends. I, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> Get a personal page. Start first. running ads for friends, seeking friends. <laughs> right. But but I mean, you know what I'm saying? So but if they don't have a personal page, right. Facebook page on it is what you're saying. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, you know, that's a good question. I don't have an answer for that. Um, you can promote. I think, I think oh, if you don't have find friends feature somewhere, uh, there is a find friend. But if you don't, I mean, maybe you don't want to have a personal Facebook page. Like that's valid. That's a life choice. Um, so what I would do in that case is pay to promote your page to some to people in the area, and you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can spend, you know, thirty dollars and have an ad running to start generating um, generating yeah attention. I would follow the building supply uh, businesses in the mm -hmm. area, even down to electrical, any suppliers and service uh, contractors, subcontractors that you use. Mm -hmm. And I would suggest following other contractors um, just, just to get an idea of what they're doing. Yeah, Sandy, that's a great idea. So uh, what Sandy said was, if you don't have your own personal Facebook page, start following as your page, start following your types of vendors and suppliers and um, people who, who or other businesses that you would do business with. Oh, and don't forget insurance. Uh, the way that I teach um, nonprofits to um, to find uh, the appropriate business to sponsor them is um, something that we can reverse engineer for your businesses, and that is to think about um, think about who you serve. So this is basic branding. So who do you serve? What happens when the people you serve are doing well? And then who benefits when the people you serve are doing well? And that, that gives you several layers of communities to target. Any other questions? Yeah. Okay, so Will, as a life coach, do I want to be a business brand or do I want the public figure choice? So uh, you want to, I think that you want business. I do want business, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, public figure would be more like like, huh? Like yeah, exactly. Like, okay. like the mayor's page. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, if you all want to stay afterwards and get some sarcastic remarks from Becky, she'll be happy to do it for you. She's good at that. I've seen her. And I, 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 okay, I'll take that. Yeah. Oh, it's great. <laughs> and Becky, would you announce that you're up there? Um, that our next new knowledge will, we changed the date, right? Yes, ma'am. It's uh, January the 16th. All right. The next new knowledge. The nuts and bolts of getting started in business. The nuts and bolts of getting started in business on January 16th. Right. And we're having that because... The business challenge starts oh. on January the 22nd. Awesome. So the business challenge starts January 22nd. So that means if you have a business that you want to start, that you want to launch, if you have an idea that's just eating a hole in your heart and you can't stand to keep it in anymore, come here to the higher, uh, the incubator, Virginia Highlands Small Business Incubator. And I think you can watch it live stream also, right, through the incubator's Facebook page. And... Uh, and learn how to get your business started. Nuts and bolts of starting a small business. And then uh, the challenge, you can get money for marketing or basically whatever you need. And um, so that's, uh, that's also helpful. We, we like money, we need money to run our stuff. Thank you. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you, I will save this for everybody.